Well, it's time to get something off of the top shelf that I haven't gotten down in a long time. And it's been about a couple of years since I've had to get, get this thing down. So this shouldn't be a problem for me. Eh. 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 Right, I'm sure. Things are not built for short people. They do not exist. I almost forgot. Yep. This is fine. <laughs> okay, I was I was at first reaching for this, and then I realized that I couldn't actually reach it. But I I honestly do have this problem sometimes. I just don't seem to be able to grab some things. I would not. Uh, I can barely just grab this. Look at this. I'm standing on on my feet right now. I could, I can grab this, but if it were basically like about two inches taller, I might not be able to. Uh, unless I stand on the tips of my toes, something like that. Um, heavy things are very hard to get down for me, <laughs> obviously. I haven't really done a video about me being short, but then again, I really haven't had to do it. There is a couple advantages to being short, though. One of them is, you can actually fit into tighter spaces, which um could come advantage in some situations. I can also just walk under this without having to duck my head. Oh, never mind. I can't anymore. <laughs> I just about hit my forehead on it. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the case a couple years ago, though. I do believe I've I've grown a few inches since like 2017 when I first started this channel. Um. You guys remember that. You can go all the way back to my general video. For some reason, my actual first video never got uploaded. I don't know why still. Oh, that's where those things went. Hmm. Okay. When did we get this? You see, this is this is something I, I'm constantly wondering about too. Things just some somehow seem to spontaneously appear in my home. I don't remember ever buying that. And I, where did when did all this stuff get here? What I don't remember buying any of that either. I'm not talking about this either, I don't. I legitimately don't. My dad must have or someone. This stuff just kind of spontaneously appears. And I know that the Edison records have been here for a while, and this is where they're going to be staying. Uh, I don't know what else. I mean, there's this, which wasn't here before. Well, it was in a couple of videos, but I mean, I didn't subconsciously put it here. I I think I bought this as a piece of scenery. The guy only wanted five dollars for it, and it was made of metal, so I said yes. Uh, Peter is still on the shelf. I still have not gotten parts. I don't know if I will ever be able to fix him. Um, there just isn't that many people who can teach you or even fix HO gauge models these days. I've tried to do a couple of them, and I've only had success with one. It's the really big models that are easier to work on. A lot easier to work on. For example, I fixed the lighting fixtures in all three of these cars. So they do work now. These two... These two didn't need it. And this one never had a lighting fixture. Um, if I could find the tin foil, that would be great too. I've only used that protector a few times. 
that's because it burned up a, a film that I did have. But that's what you get for using the old incandescent bulbs and not LED ones. I could probably get an LED one, and it would probably be just as powerful or even more. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Probably because they don't make them in that size. Uh, I also would like to find the phone lines that I had. I had uh, two extra phone lines that I could use in case one of them broke. You see, I had this phone hooked up into the wall. But um, I don't know where, where the cord for that went. I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I mean, there is one place that the cords could be, but, I mean, I guess I must have left the heater on, but it makes sense because it's cold down here. Um, that's about it.